The pressure built for days. Prime Minister was so courageous, he might throw out Beijing's agent. The demand for the expulsion of a diplomat from China, Zhao Wei, for the reported intimidation of Michael Chong's family in Hong Kong was not just from Chong's party. All parliamentarians need assurance that their safety, their family's safety and their freedom of expression are not threatened. The government said it wasn't so simple that it had to carefully weigh the consequences. Today, it did. Canada has declared the individual in question today persona non grata. Our government has been clear we will not tolerate any form of foreign interference in our internal affairs. That decision a full week after the Globe and Mail named him, citing a confidential national security source and a nearly two-year-old CSIS document, it reported Zhao sought information on Chong's family after Chong voted for a motion condemning China's treatment of its minority Uyghur population. It shouldn't have taken the targeting of a member of parliament uh, to make this decision. Uh, we have known for years that the PRC is using its accredited diplomats here in Canada uh, to target Canadians and their families. The Prime Minister has said the CSIS report never made its way to his office, though it did go to civil servants and other government officials. I think it could have been done much faster, and much faster, in fact, goes back to 2021. Any indications of, of foreign interference that touch on MPs and the working of parliament has to be considered, um, you know, something that e even if the initial information is sketchy, has to be pursued further. A government source says Zhao will have up to five days to leave the country. In the meantime, China's embassy has again called the allegations against them groundless and said it will take countermeasures, warning that Canada will face consequences. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Ottawa. Let's bring in David Cochran, the host of Power in Politics. So, David, we heard from Rafi there about potential consequences from China. What could those be? Yeah, that's the big question tonight, Anita. I mean, does China respond in a proportional way, kick out a diplomat in response and retaliation for Canada kicking out one of their diplomats? Or does China escalate this and maybe take economic actions against Canada, some trade sanctions potentially? And if that happens, how does Canada and its allies respond to that? I think the hope here in Ottawa is that it's proportional and you simply see another Another diplomat uh, kicked out of China in response to this and it doesn't escalate to anything like we've seen in the difficult relations between the two countries over the last couple of years. But that statement from the Chinese embassy saying they will resolutely take countermeasures and all consequences shall be borne by the Canadian side. That's a pretty clear declaration of intent. But exactly what that looks like, we just don't know at this point in time. OK, so what impact do you think that this decision could actually have on the government? Well, politically, this has been a tough one for them. If you, you take the most charitable explanation, it was a week ago that the prime minister, the foreign affairs minister, the public safety minister learned about this diplomat's activities. And tonight he has been declared persona non grata. The less charitable explanation is that this was in the hands of key advisors in the government, top officials in the government in the summer of 2021 and no action until now. How that happened, why there was a breakdown, that is still a question that deserves a clear explanation. Thanks, David. Thank you.